Hi friends, in this small video we are going to be reviewing the latest Lenovo IdeaPad S110. This is the successor to the S100 series of netbooks that Lenovo had launched recently. Now we have this thing entirely open in front view. Uh, we have unboxed it beforehand so that we could save some time on this. So let's have a look at the battery here. The battery is the same standard uh, Lenovo S100 battery that is being ported. Let's have a look at the ratings. It's got a 48 watt hours, that is 4400 mAh, 11.1 uh, volt battery, 6 cell lithium ion battery to be very precise. And the adapter, as you can see, is a 20 volt, 1.5 ampere adapter. Consider the standard charging pin. Comes with a user manual setup poster and a power cord. So let's just fit this thing, fit the battery onto this thing. The S110 as we are reviewing today is uh, an absolute clone of the S100 that had been reviewed earlier. This is the black version that we are reviewing today. There is absolutely no difference whatsoever uh, in terms of finish. If you are looking at S110 here. Is the same as S100. So as you can see, uh, the same matte textured finish is continued in this uh, S110 series too. The entire laptop is having on the top panel the same checkered uh, matte finish. Let's open it up. As you can see, uh, the laptop does not require to be held on the base to open the top panel. The keyboard too remains the same, uh, bigger keys than compared to uh, netbooks of the same series, same range in the other brands. The same textured finishes continued on the inside too. It's got a homogeneous touchpad, it's got a unified touchpad where there is no demarcation between the left and the right clicks and it's having a textured uh, print but it is not having a textured finish I could not feel the texture here the way I would uh, when I would use my fingers on this thing so neat little small little touchpad not pretty big the bezel is uh, a 10.1 inches LED it's having 0.3 VGA camera. The basil here again is having a matte finish. It is not textured though. This is the quick start that uh, uh, Lenovo has incorporated for this series, which was not there in the earlier series. The earlier S100 did not have the quick start, so you can quick boot into uh, connecting to the internet uh, using a custom made Linux OS power button. And this using a small pin, you can just reset the S110 to its factory state. So this is the way it looks uh, as you can see let's have a look at the different ports and what improvement Lenovo has done on this series okay the charging port is here the VGA port uh, the fan vent the heat vent and uh, you have the standard USB 2.0 port you have a common headphone and mic jack here slim enough for a netbook you have a memory card uh, slot nothing on the side of the laptop and two more USB ports and either net port it's quite a downer as we expected an HDMI port a USB 3.0 port at least uh, but the S110 here that we have reviewed is not having any of those so just a minor improvement in terms of having a quick start button and that's it that's the difference between quick uh, s100 and s110 the base again uh, is pretty neat as i've already shown you how to upgrade the ram of the s100 is same for the s102 absolutely no difference you have to split open the entire laptop and upgrade the memory 
so this is the way it looks from the behind and this is the way it would look from the sideways This, my friends, here is the S110 that was launched recently. Thanks a lot for watching.